Today we got an iPhone 12 logic board with a damaged 5G antenna. If you're not careful taking these out of the housing, it's very easy to tear these right here. So we are going to flip this over and on the back side what I'll have to do is just peel back this black stuff right here, take that sticker off, and then we are going to solder in a new antenna just like that. So I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to show you under the microscope how we can take off the old one prep it, put the new one in, and then I'm going to show you how to check your work before you put the phone back together because that is going to save you a lot of time. You don't want to reassemble this whole thing and then find out that one of these little solder points underneath is not connected, and there's a bunch of them. So just a couple of things to keep in mind. Uh, one, obviously we're going to add some heat and peel back this little sticker. There's also going to be some adhesive holding this, um, this little cable in. So we don't want to be fighting that while we're pulling the solder joints away from the uh, where they're attached here. So um, I'm going to do a couple of things. First, we're going to heat this up real quick. Okay, so we'll peel this back. And sometimes, uh, depending on the phone model, you may or may not have something to follow as far as where to position this thing. Because as you can see, all the solder points are going to be on the other side. So we need to make sure that we line this up in the, exactly the right spot. Sometimes there's leftover adhesive here you can use as a guide. Sometimes you'll actually have some little markings, uh, little copper things on the board. On this particular model, I honestly don't remember off the top of my head what it looks like underneath. But what we want to do first, is just put a little uh, rubbing alcohol here. rubbing alcohol 99% that's going to help loosen up that adhesive because like I said you want to know that the tension is uh, coming from the adhesive and not the actual place where it's attached in case you ever have to take one of these off of a donor and to the technician who asked me I do actually uh, go over the pads with the soldering iron when I pull this off if I'm putting a new p part in. Now if I'm just pulling it off in order to split the board I don't I don't mess with anything I just take it off and put it back on but in this case we're gonna smooth these things out when they come off. And when you see it floating around like that, you're most likely just working against the adhesive. I'm going to go over this real quick just to smooth these out of here. Get the sucker to sit still for a minute. I don't notice much of a difference between leaded solder here and the factory solder so I wouldn't worry too much about taking the old stuff off I just want this to be nice and flat because our new part is gonna be flat also in fact you know now they think about it we could take this off completely because this thing it's actually got some solder on it so I'm gonna say in this case let's go ahead and take it off cannot hurt. Good enough. Is that clear? 
can get this sucker focused. All right. I am going to put some flux here. Let's dry this off a little bit first. Now you can see I've actually got some adhesive on this one. That shouldn't be a problem. I'm not going to remove the old stuff because remember I'm kind of using that to know where this guy needs to go. So we want to set it right on top of the old adhesive. Some flux on here. And then you just want to go over this a few times and make sure it feels nice and smooth. And then, like I said, we'll get our multimeter afterwards and make sure it lined up properly. Right, should be okay there. You don't want to push down too hard and cause these things to run together. And the only way, only thing I can say is it's kind of one of those things you just get a feel for after a while. But most importantly, if we flip this over here, get our multimeter. Let's find a way to stabilize this sucker so it doesn't move. And we're just going to zoom in here and check to see what kind of diode measurement we get on each one of these pins and maybe I can get the multimeter under the camera for you here I'll pause that for a second I do not know why my multimeter looks like that obviously it has something to do with the lighting but hopefully you can make out the numbers so I've got my red probe on ground here diode mode and we're just gonna go around up here at the top we got 270, this is 393, that's ground, that's 600, that's ground, that's ground, we got 186 it looks like, ground, 370, and 273. So as long as uh, these are relatively close, to what the values on the chart say, we are ready to reinstall this thing.